Hey, Divine Ones. How y'all doing? Come on in. Come on in. Yes, baby, come on in. Come on in. So I just finished my walk, and I am just on cloud nine right now, baby. So I had to come just float right on in here on this video. I told the children, I said, y'all, I got to hop on live real quick, baby. So y'all, come on in. Come on in. I need my ladies. <laughs> I need my ladies front and center. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, baby. We about to get into our level up talk. Okay, ladies, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I see my mama checking in this thing. All my ladies, come on. Come on. Front and center. Front and center. Queens, front and center. All ages. All ages. Okay, all ages. From teens Tw little tweens, teens on up, oh, all ages. Come on in, come on in, baby. Don't matter how young, don't matter how old. Come on in, come on in. Because I'm going to give you the formula in just a few minutes. It ain't even going to take long. I'm going to give you the formula on how to get your youth back to my older ladies, my ladies that's 30s and up, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Yes, baby, how to get your youth back. It's something that's so simple. And that's walking. Come on now, Shania 122 say, I just got done walking. Didn't feel like it, but I did it. Yes. Come on. And you know what, Shania? The future you is going to thank you for that. It's going to thank you for that. Because you know what I was just thinking when I was out on my walk a few minutes ago? That was amazing. That like, I'm just, and I want y'all to just catch, catch the mood right now. Like catch the mood, catch the vibe right now. You know why I be happy like this? You know why I be smiling like this? You know why I be having good energy like this? It's because everything that I'm carrying in my spirit, everything, I have stuff that come up in my spirit, stuff that make me sad, stuff that, stuff, uh, loved ones, I still be grieving, I still be crying, I still, you know, you might feel bad about some things that happened in your past, you might just, sometimes life just be life in it, you just want to, ladies, y'all know, come on, we just be want to sit down sometime and just cry, <laughs> you just be want to have your, uh, just a brain dump. And just cry about everything. You 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 got happy tears mixed in now. You got sad tears mixed in now. You got tears about the goodness of God and how good God is. Then you got tears of losses that you done took. Just all kind of tears mixed in. But I take all the stuff that I be dealing with and I take it with me on my walk. <laughs> I take it with me on my walk. And when I'm out there walking, I'm talking to Jesus. And you know what? Everything that I be frustrated with, everything that I be tired of, everything that I be dealing with, you know what I do? I cast my cares on Jesus. I cast my cares on God. Because he is a God that is able to take my cares and my cares and my burdens don't weigh him down. We can all cast our cares on him at the same time. <laughs> and he ain't gonna lean, baby. He is strong. He's able to hold all of our baggage, hold all of our stuff. So why are you carrying around this baggage? Why are you carrying around this stuff? Come on, ladies. Because come on now, queens. I need y'all front and center, ladies. We be carrying around a lot of stuff. <laughs> One thing about it, two things for sure. A woman's heart is big. We got a big heart, and that's just the way God created us to be. We we nurturers. We love on people. We, you know, I love just. We don't just give normal love. We give big love. Like our love is 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 a different type of love. We love on a whole nother level. <laughs> we we see you love people. You sitting up late at night thinking about them, praying for them, going in prayer for them. You laboring for them. You at, your love on a whole nother level. So you know what you got to do. You got to take care of yourself. On a whole nother level. Because if you don't. This is what I done seen happen. You start looking like. You start looking like. What you carrying around. You start looking like. What you been through. You start looking like that pain. And all that emotional baggage. That you carrying around with you. You start looking like that. And then how many of y'all ever seen people. That they tell you they age. And you be like. Come on now. Like, ain't no way. Ain't like how TJ be saying, boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And you know what that is a lot of the times? It's, it's the things that that person be done went through. It's the stress. It's the heartache. It's the pain. And that all that stress and that heartache and that pain, it start manifesting 
in their face. It start manifesting in their body. Yeah, be told up from the floor. Come on now. It start manifesting in their body. It starts showing in their body. So I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell you as women what we got to do. And I'm finna run that glow up transformation bike again. I, I I did a training one time with my ladies for the glow up transformation training one. I feel in my spirit, it's time to run that training bike again. It's time to do training too. <laughs> That's why these messages keep coming up in my spirit. Cause it's time to bring the second training bike for my ladies, baby. It's time to glow up internally and externally. And how you going to do that is simply by walking. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all, I don't think y'all listening to me. I don't think you listening. <laughs> I don't think you hearing it. Because if you was really listening to me and you were really hearing what I'm saying, and if you were really putting into action what I was saying, I'll be seeing you talk about it. I'll be seeing you posting about it. I'll be seeing how good you look on your pictures and how good you look in your videos and how good you look when you went on vacation with your husband and how your husband... <laughs> How your husband can't stay off of you because you looking young and you looking good and you looking better and you walking in the house and he's saying, where you, where you going? <laughs> what? Look, if you ain't getting them kind of, where you going? Oh, where you finna go? Oh, what? You, you wearing that? <laughs> where you going? Come on now. I don't think y'all here. I don't think the girls hear me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think you listening. I don't know. I don't know. You might be listening, but I don't know. I need to know. I Because if, if you really hear me and you really listening and you really doing what I'm telling y'all to do, you finna see some transformation. You finna see some transformation. You finna start turning some heads. <laughs> Come on now. You finna start turning some heads. You finna say, and I don't care how old you are, baby. People gonna be saying, how old you say you is again? Get out there and start walking. Get out there and start walking. Just tonight, when I was out there walking, I'm telling y'all, like, physically, you'll be in one place, but it's the movement that takes place in your mind when you're walking. Like, in my mind, I be in a whole nother place. I'm in a whole nother arena. I'm in a whole nother world. Like, I'm in this physical world, but in my mind while I'm walking... I'm on a whole nother level. I'm on a whole nother timeline. I'm on a, and I'm seeing, and this is what you got to do. You, it's not, it's more than just the walk. Okay. It's more than just the walk to really level up by walking. You got to get your mind involved with this too. It's a mindset too. It ain't just moving your feet. Cause anybody can get out there and move their feet and walk. What you got to do is you got to start having a vision of the new woman that you are becoming. See, I have a vision of me in my mind. I have a vision of what the new version of me look like, what how she dress, what how she spent her days, what kind of impact she making on the world, how she serving in her purpose, how she living in her household, how she taking care of her household, how she taking care of her children. I have the, the Proverbs 31 version of me in my mind. Ladies, listen to me. You need to build a Proverbs 31 version of you in your mind. And then when you out there walking, you need to see yourself as that woman. See yourself as that virtuous woman. See yourself as that Proverbs 31 woman. And let me tell y'all something that's so powerful. When you change the way you see yourself, you know what I see has happened and what is, how it's going to happen for you. When you change the way you see yourself and the way you look at you, Watch how other people change the way they look at you. Watch how other people change the way they look at you. Yeah, because people look at you the way you look at you. People see you the way you see you. If you don't think you're worth nothing, they won't think you're worth nothing. <laughs> if you always walk around with your head down and you're not confident and you don't have... You, you don't you don't know your power. You're not walking in your power. You're not walking in confidence. You're not walking in the boldness of the Holy Spirit. You haven't received the Holy Spirit. You don't know who you are in God. And you walking around with a defeated spirit, with a defeated personality. What? How do you think? People, when you go in the office, when you go somewhere else, when you go, they're going to reflect back to you how you feel about yourself. They're going to, if you think little of yourself, the world will think little of you. If you think highly of yourself, the world will think highly of you. So what are you thinking about yourself? And I'm telling you, when you start loving you, because this was the game changer 
for me, and this going to be the game changer for you. I ain't going to be on long because I'm finna go make my smoothie. <laughs> but when you start loving you, when you start taking care of you, ain't nobody going to have to tell you to go walk. Ain't nobody going to have to tell you to drink more water. Ain't nobody going to have to tell you to take care of yourself. Y'all, hold on one second. Ain't nobody going to have to tell you to do none of that. Because when you love something, you want to take care of it. When you love something, you want it to be healthy. When you love something, you're going to put your best foot forward. And so many times as women, we put our best foot forward for everybody else. We running for everybody else. We, we tap dancing for everybody else. We walking on eggshells for everybody else. But when it come to you and when it come to your body and when it come to your health, you always come up a day late and a dollar short. It's time out for that. It's time out for that. Because you, let me tell you something I realized. People are going to love you based on how you love you. I can take off running in here. Y'all need, I need you to turn me up. Turn me up. Can you hear me? <laughs> You can't complain about how people treat you and how people love you. I just told you, they're going to treat you. They're going to love you. They're going to give you. They're going to think of you the way you think of yourself, the way you love yourself. When you start loving yourself and you start loving yourself enough to care what you look like, to care what you feel like, to care what kind of condition your body is in to care when you start loving you enough to do that watch how everybody else fall in line and either they fall in line or they fall off and i think that's what some people are afraid of some people are afraid that if they really start walking in truth if they really start walking in their power and they really start loving themselves you're afraid of who gonna fall off you afraid cause cause in the back of your mind, you know who gonna get in line and who ain't gonna be with it. You know who gonna fall off. And that right there hold a lot of people up. That right there hold a lot of women up because you're afraid of what you're gonna lose. You're afraid of who gonna fall off. But let me tell you something, baby. If it's not attached to who God created you to be, if it's not attached to your divine destiny, it ain't doing nothing but holding you up anyway. It ain't doing nothing but hope, causing you to halt, causing you to, to, to delay your destiny. That's all they're doing. Person, place, or thing. So I'm talking about walking, but this thing really go way deeper than just walking. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. And I'm telling y'all, the ladies <laughs> been sleeping. Been sleeping. And I came to wake you up. I came to wake you up. Do you understand me? Because when I tell y'all I have seen the promised land with the thing, I done, I done did all kind of stuff. I done tried all kind of stuff. I had my mini stepple. I was working out on my mini stepple. I got my um walking pad over there, walking on my walking pad. I got a treadmill, been walking on my treadmill. I got a bike. I be doing the bike, weights and all of that stuff. But let me tell y'all something. Don't none of it hold a candle to walking. Walking. Put on your walking shoes. Mind your business <laughs> because that was the game changer for me. I started minding my business. Put on my walking shoes and go out in your neighborhood. Go down the road to your park. Put one foot in front of the other and start walking. Start walking. Start walking, baby. And watch how your mind change. Watch how your body change. Watch, And then you know what? Don't just walk. I want you to pair that walking with a calorie deficit. I want you to start tracking what you eat. I want you to download this app called My Fitness Pal. It's called My Fitness Pal. It's a free app. Download it on your phone because you got apps on your phone right now that ain't serving you. You got apps on your phone right now that you looking up foolishness on every day and it is not helping you become. I got my tough coach hat on tonight. Come on now, it's tight, but it's right. You got apps on your phone right now that ain't doing nothing for your destiny. It's time to delete some of them messy apps. And put some apps up there that's going to help you better your life. Put some apps up there that's going to help you become the woman that God created you to be. My Fitness Pal. I want you to download that app. And everything that you put in your mouth, every piece of food, every piece of drink that you put in your mouth, don't let it touch your mouth until you log it in that app. 
Put it in that app. Track everything you eat. And you're going to find out why you've been feeling the way you've been feeling. You're going to find, you're going to quickly find out why you've been feeling the way you've been feeling and why you've been looking the way you've been looking. It's because of what you've been putting in this body. And another thing, that late night eating, that's over. <laughs> that's over. That's over. You're not sitting up late at night eating no more. That's over. I want you to pick a time. I say 8 o'clock. After 8 o'clock, don't you eat nothing else. And do this for at least five days out the week. You can have your other two nights where if you want to stay up a little bit, watch a movie or something, snack on you some popcorn or whatever, you can snack. You can have a little balance. <laughs> but at least five days out the week, we intermittent fasting. Okay? So we're not eating nothing after 8 o'clock except water. <laughs> You're going to drink that water. Like that water is the best thing since sliced bread because it is. And if you don't want water, you get tired of drinking water, drink you some green tea. Plain green tea. Don't put nothing in it. Just plain green tea. But other than that, you're not eating nothing. You're not drinking nothing after 8 o'clock. And don't eat until 12 o'clock the next day. Okay? You're going to eat. the only When you eat your food, you're going to eat inside an 8-hour window from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's when you eat all your food. Outside of them hours, you're not eating nothing. You're only drinking water and you're only drinking green tea. Now, what you can do, which is what I do sometimes when I get up in the morning, and you know how you be kind of sluggish sometimes when you get up in the morning because you're not eating nothing and you, you feel like you need a little boost, get you some black coffee. Get you some black coffee because that black coffee ain't going to break your fast. Get you some black coffee and drink you some black coffee. And I'll tell y'all a hack that I use that helped me get the black coffee down because it's, any of y'all ever drunk black coffee, it's real bitter. <laughs> And we do not drink it for the taste. I don't drink it for the taste. I drink it for the energy that it give me and the boost that it give me. But I do not drink it for the taste. So I have to try to hurry up and get it down. So what I do is I brew the coffee, black coffee, nothing in it. I get me some ice and I put the ice in the coffee and stir it up. And then I put me a straw in there and then I just I sip it up through that straw real fast. <laughs> so I have iced black coffee. I sip it up through that straw real fast. And it be bitter. I do not like the taste of it. I don't like the taste of it. But I'm not drinking it for the taste. I'm drinking it because it gives me that energy that I need in the morning to get up and get moving. So that's what you can take in the morning. And then at 12 o'clock, you eat your food. You eat your food. And then what you're doing every day, you're walking. You're walking. Because the girl's been sleeping on this. Been sleeping on walking. We're doing all this stuff. Let me tell y'all something. What be grieving my spirit it grieves my spirit when I see the girls, when I see the girls doing all this hard, heavy labor and stuff where they got these big old muscle balls and big old heavy balls and stuff where, and then they sprinting on the treadmill and they running and they, and, and, and let me tell y'all something. <laughs> you ain't got to do all that, baby. Now, to each his own. If you want to do it and you feel like that's what you need to do, then you do that. But I'm telling you, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, you do not need to be doing that. You do not need to be doing all that spring. You do not need to be doing all that, all them heavy lifting with the, y'all know the, the, um, the weight balls and stuff and all of that, all that hard, forceful work when you working out and stuff. Because what you gonna do when you doing all that running and all that sprinting and all that stuff like that and you got a lot of weight on you, it's gonna make your joints really, really sore. And it's gonna make you really, really hungry. Okay, because when I was working out like that and I was and I was bigger, all it did would make me more hungry. I just wanted to go eat. <laughs> yeah, you went and sprinted and you you went and ran real fast and did all this and did all that jumping and did all that that punching and all that lifting. But then your knees and stuff be hurting you so bad because you got that weight on your knees. You got that weight on your arms. So you know what you need to do. You don't need to do none of that stuff. All you need to do is eat in a calorie deficit and get out there every day. And walk for 30 minutes. Walk for 30 minutes. And I'm telling y'all, the more weight you have to lose with this, the easier it's going to fall off. When you have a lot of weight to lose and you get out there and you start walking and you eating in a calorie deficit and you fasting, baby, the weight is finna melt off. It finna, it finna just fall off of you. Do you understand me? 
Because now I see that that I'm now that I'm down to the wire and I've lost most of the weight that I was going to lose. Now I have to do more things with my walk to 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 keep getting results. Like I might have to add a weighted vest or put some arm weights on or put some ankle weights on. Like or I may have to walk a little bit faster. Sometimes I have to put add an in, uh, incline to it. But when I first started, all I had to do was start walking. And the weight was falling off just by me walking. So if you are a person where you say, well, Toy, I got a whole lot of weight to lose, you actually have an advantage, baby. You have an advantage because when you have a whole lot of weight to lose, you don't have to do all that stuff. Don't listen to these folks, baby, because these folks have you jumping high and ducking low and doing all kinds of stuff. And see, that's not sustainable. This is what I learned. You got to do something. If you if your goal is weight loss, then you got to lose the weight in a way that you could do that for the rest of your life. See, I can walk for the rest of my life. I'm happy with walking for the rest of my life. I'm 36 and I'll be walking for the rest of my life. I don't care if I was 66. I don't care if I was 76. I'm going to still be walking. Now, you answer me this. Will you at the age of 66 and 76, is you still going to be lifting all them big old heavy balls and all that sprint and all that? That stuff going to wear down on your joints. <laughs> your joint going to wear your joints down and you're going to get tired of that. You're not going to be able to sustain that. And so walking is low impact. It's low impact. It's low recovery. It does not take a whole lot of recovery. It does not take a whole lot of the most you might have to do with walking is just make sure you're stretching and making sure every now and then you go and maybe run you some Epsom salt in the tub and soak in the tub a little bit. But as long as you got you some good walking shoes and I, the shoes that I use is um the uh, Nike Metcon. The Nike Metcon shoes are really good that I've seen for walking. But you just get you some good shoes that when you walk, they don't hurt your feet. They don't hurt your toes or nothing like that. You good with your walking shoes and you get out there and walk. And walk at a pace that is comfortable for you. And then as time go on, you can speed up your pace. You speed up your pace. But I'm telling y'all, you do not have to do all of that stuff that these folks be telling you you have to do. The answer is very simple and it's been with us all along. Walking. I've been walking since 1988. My mama on him. <laughs> I was born in 1987. I've been walking since 1988. Okay. So how long you been walking? It what the formula to change your life is something you've been doing all your life. You really, we always be thinking that we got to go do something new. We got to go do something different. When God be done already put the answer in us, we already have a breakthrough in us. All we got to do is start seeing the power that's in us and start looking at ourselves differently. And when you change the way you look at yourself, ladies, other people going to change the way they look at you and other people are going to change the way that they treat you. You're going to see a you're going to see a shift in the way people treat you. But I'm telling y'all. You do not have to do a whole bunch of stuff. People been sleeping on this. And then y'all hear people say, oh, well, um, walking ain't exercise. And you ain't get it. Child, don't listen to that neither. <laughs> don't listen to that neither. When you get out there and you get some, put some speed behind your walk. And you put some intention behind your walk. And you start walking at a faster pace. And wear your smartwatch or wear a Fitbit. Wear some kind of tracker on you. That will let you know what your heart rate is. Because you want to get your heart rate up when you walking. You don't want to just be moseying around. No. You want to walk like you on a mission. You got to walk like you got somewhere you got to be. Walk like you got somewhere to go. The people in my neighborhood be looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't care. <laughs> Forget them folks. Come on now. I'm at the park. People looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't care. Forget them folks. I done seen the promised land. I'm looking at them like y'all need to be out here walking. <laughs> You looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, you, you need to get up out that chair and you need to come out here and walk with me. So y'all going to see what I'm talking about. When you get out there and you start loving your body and you start moving and walking with intention and stuff, people going to be looking at you like you crazy. People going to be like, because people, I'm telling y'all, people ain't trying to change their life. Everybody's saying that they tired of what they're going through and that, but who really doing something to change it? Who really doing something to get up and, and create a better life for themselves? So you got to be the one that's willing. You got to be the woman that's willing to say, I'm willing to be uncomfortable. I'm willing to do some stuff that I don't feel like doing in order to become the woman that I know I was destined to be. 
And I'm telling y'all, I have never regretted a walk. It ain't not one walk, and I done walked a lot of miles, okay? It ain't not one walk that I said, I wish I wouldn't have did that walk. It ain't not one time you're going to regret it. And I want you to understand that the day that you're walking, just like the walk that I just finished tonight, that actual walk was not for today. It was not for today. I'm finna say this, and then I'm finna go. Y'all please listen to this. What you do inside of that current day is not for that day. See, what you're doing is you're putting money in the bank for you to spend later on. <laughs> Think about it. It's like you're saving. It's like you're making, it's like you putting money into an investment account. You're putting money into a, into a policy into, and, and it's, and it has compound interest. It compounds over time. That's what you do when you walk ladies. That's what you do when you walk. When you get out there, as bad as you don't want to do it, as bad as your bike hurting, as bad as your mood, and you might be in a nasty mood, you might have a bad attitude, you might just, everybody done irk, irk your nerves, get up and walk. Get up and walk. I guarantee you, when you come back, you're going to feel different. Even if it's just a little bit better, you're going to feel a little bit better. You're going to feel a little bit better. You're going to feel a little bit more, a little bit different. That attitude is not going to be as bad. Your mood is not going to be as bad. You know why you mad all the time. You know why you got an attitude all the time. You know why you, you feeling some type of way all the time because you have cortisol backed up in your body. You have stress that's backed up in your body and it's storing in your muscles. It's storing in your bike. That's why your bike is hurting. Because you have stress in your body. You have cortisol in your body. That's the stress hormone. You have stress that's stored in the muscles in your body. And your body is hurting because it's crying. It's saying, move me. <laughs> it's saying, get up and move. And when you get up and move, baby, watch how much better you feel. There is no medicine. What I'm telling y'all right here on this live, listen. There is no medicine. There is no pill you can take that will give you this. They ain't made nothing that you can take that will give you this because the creator gave you this. God gave you this. Your body is able to do what God created it to do, but you got to leave it alone. AKA stop eating for a little while. You got to leave it alone so it can do what God made it to do. That is a reason why I'm telling you don't eat nothing after eight o'clock. It's a reason why I'm telling you don't eat until 12 o'clock the next day. That's not to punish you. That's not to punish ourselves. That's not, that's to leave our body alone long enough to do what God created it to do. Because every time we eat something, when we're not hungry, I'm not talking about when you're hungry now. When you're hungry, you need to eat. But every time you eat just because you in your feelings, you eat because you got something going on, you eat because you're bored, you eat because you just want to eat, not because you're hungry. Every time you do that, you are, you are interrupting your body. You are interrupting the healing process in your body. You are interrupting the detox process in your body. You don't even, you don't tell y'all something I learned. You ain't even got to take all that detox stuff. All that detox stuff these folks talking about. You ain't even got to take that. Your body will naturally detox. Your body will naturally do what it's supposed to do. But we got to leave it alone <laughs> so it can do it. And we got to have some other things going on, too. I see this as, as ladies. The girls, we got to have something else going on. Because a lot of time we be eating because we ain't got nothing going on. A lot of time we be eating because we bored. A lot of time we be eating because we not in our purpose. We be eating because, because we don't have something else to fulfill us. So we use the food to fill us up. But I am a witness to this. That when you get in purpose... When you get in purpose, purpose will have you so full. Purpose will have you so full, baby. A lot of times you'll forget to eat. You'll forget to eat. You'll be like, oh, I ain't even, it's two o'clock. I ain't even ate nothing today. Because you're so deep in your purpose. Because you're so, you're so busy making an impact and changing people's lives and adding value to people's lives. So one of the best things you can also do for yourself is get in your purpose. Get in your purpose. And get out there and start walking. Get out there and start walking, baby. And understand that every walk that you take during that day, you are not doing it for that day. So don't expect the results to show up that day. Because they will not show up that day. 
You can't go for a walk and then come back home and go in the mirror and say, I knew this wasn't going to work. I knew when this wasn't going to change. Okay, that's just like taking some money to the bank, making a deposit in the bank and saying, oh, well, you ain't put the $20 in there. And you saying, why I ain't a millionaire? Why I don't have millions of dollars in this account? <laughs> come on now. It take time for it to compound. It's going to compound over time. And one day you're going to look up and you're going to see the fruit. One day you're going to look up and you're going to see the transformation in your body. And this is also how you add value to your home. You add value to your household when you go out for walks, when you go out and, and, and move your body, when you fast, when you pray, when you're walking. You add value to your household, baby. Do you know as the woman of your house, you set the atmosphere in that thing. If the household tow up, it's because you tow up. If the house, this this some real stuff now. If the household janky, it's because the woman is janky. Because the woman, as women, we set the tone in our house. We set the atmosphere in our house. If you are a peaceful woman, you will have a peaceful house. I said it. <laughs> I said it. If you full of turmoil, if you full of drama, if you full of messiness, if you what kind of house you think you finna be running? What kind of children you think you finna be raising? Come on now. So this is how you add value to your house as the woman. This is the power that you hold. It's in your presence. Y'all, as a woman, you can walk in the room. It ain't even in what you say. It's in your energy. It's in the, it's in the energy. It's in the, it's in the presence that you give off. When you are a woman that love yourself, when you are a woman that work on yourself, when you are a woman that tend to your body, when you are a woman, come on now, and everybody's not going to look the same now. Everybody's version of, the, of level up and glowing up is going to look different for each woman because nobody knows your journey, nobody knows your process, and nobody knows where you came from like you and God. So your journey will not look like the next woman. But what I'm saying is you be the best version of you. That God created you to be. And one of the main ways you're going to do that is by you just simply walking. Simply walking. And that walk that you take is for the future you. It's not for the woman that you are today. You're doing it for the future you. And you're going to see it in the future. You're going to see it. All the walks that you was doing that you didn't feel like doing, guess what? It's going to start compounding in the bank. It's going to be like that compound interest. It's, gonna, it's stacking on top of one another. It's stacking on top of one another. And then when you step out, baby, people are like, who, who, who is you? Hoppo, who this woman? <laughs> who is you? And then you, everything that you put forth your hands to do will start to prosper. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. Everything you put, if you got a business, watch how your business start changing. If you married, watch how, watch how things start changing with you and your husband. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. All right, I'm finna go, y'all, because I got to make my smoothie for 8 o'clock. <laughs> I love y'all so much, and I'll check in with y'all later, baby. Don't sleep on walking. Get out there and start walking. I gave you a whole formula on this video. I'm going to put the replay on my YouTube channel tomorrow. I gave y'all a whole formula in this video. Use it. Apply it to your life. If you are not subscribed to YouTube, come over here on YouTube and subscribe to the Latoya Okia YouTube channel so you can be getting these gems, getting this knowledge, getting this information. Come on now. And then let's normalize. Let's, let's normalize. Yeah, we getting old, but we ain't got to look old. <laughs> we getting older, but we ain't got to look old. We getting up there. We pushing 40. We pushing 50. We pushing 60, 70, 80, <laughs> but we ain't got to look it. Come on now. The blessing of the Lord make it rich. And add no sorrow to it. If you serve God, people ought to be able to see that you serve God. Because you're going to start to look like you got that God glow on you. But you have to put in that work. Have to put in that work. And listen, I know how life be. Life be life when we fall off from it. We Sometimes you get the formula. You get some transformation. Then life hit and you fall, fall back into your old ways. It happened to me. 
It happened to me. I took some losses. I lost some family members and I fell back into some old habits and fell back into my old ways. And then I bounced back. The Bible say the righteous man falls seven times, but he get back up again. Okay. You fell back. Okay. You fell off of what you said you were going to do. Okay. You stop working out. Okay. You stop walking. What you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? You going to barbecue a meal? Do you going to keep sitting down having a pity party or you going to get back up again? And start moving again. Start walking again. Start eating healthy again. Start tracking your food again. And then watch how you're going to be even better than you was before. Because that's how it happened with me. It's something about when you fall. <laughs> Listen. It's something about when you fall. That if you mess around and get back up. And get back on track. You will be even better than you was before. That's why the enemy don't want you to get back up. Because he know, baby, you're going to look even better than you looked before. The weight you lost before ain't going to be compared to the weight you finna lose now. The way your body finna look now, it ain't listen. Some of y'all saying, man, I had it one time. I lost 20 pounds, Toya. I lost 30 pounds. I lost 40 pounds. And then I gained it back. But you know what? When you get back on track this time, take what you learned. And apply it to your life so you don't make the same mistakes this time. And watch how you be even better. You're going to look even better than you did before. I love y'all so much, baby. I love y'all so much. If y'all are ready to level up, listen. If you're ready to take your knowledge and you're ready, ready to take your skill set, you're ready to take your personality, just you being you, and earn income, whether you're working a job and you want to add an extra stream of income or you want to eventually leave your job and just work your business full time, I want you to join me in our standing on kingdom business community, baby. Go to LatoyaOkeelAcademy.com. I'll put the link in the description. If you're watching over on YouTube, click that link and sign up, baby, because it's only $47 a month right now to get in. And that's less than a cup of coffee a day. That's less than a cup of coffee a day. And I want you to imagine a life. Listen, when you click the link, understand that this is what you're signing up for. you signing up for a life where you get to wake up and you get to create multiple streams of income by you simply being yourself. By you taking your knowledge, your skills, things that you did to change your life. And I show you how to teach other people the formula, how to teach other people the blueprint so they can get the same transformations. And you turn it into a business. Turn it into a business that brings purpose to your life, that honors God, and that creates financial freedom for you and your family, which is exactly what I'm doing right here, right now. Okay, I started walking, I got transformation, and now I'm teaching other people the formula. I'm teaching other women, other men the blueprint so that they can create the same transformation in their life. And all I did was turn that into a business. All I did was take who I naturally am. I'm just being myself and I turned it into a business that that created a new life for me and my children. And now I want to teach you how to do the same thing because it's time for your children to live a new life. It's time for you to live a new life. It's time for you and your husband and your family to have that financial freedom that you know you deserve, baby, to be able to do what you want to do with your time, however you want to do it. And you create a business around just being yourself. That's your time. It's your time to do that. And if you want to learn how to do that, click that link, baby. Go to LatoyaOkeelAcademy.com and sign up for Standing on Kingdom Business Community. Because we get ready to cap it in just a little bit. So y'all better slide in that thing while it's still open, okay? I have a coaching session with them tomorrow night where I'm going to be digging deep and showing them how to take their knowledge and turn it into multiple streams of income. How to use content, which is what I'm doing right here, right now. And how to build a community. I have built a community. My community is the divine ones. I teach you how to do the same thing, how to take your knowledge, take your wisdom, your insight, how to get online, how to start making content, how to bring your people to you and how to build a community and how to have a business around just being yourself. I'm telling y'all, it's your time to do that. And you know it. You know it's your time to do that. Come on now. So if you know that, I want you to join us, baby. Go to the link and sign up. So I love y'all. I love y'all. Get to walking. Get to walking and take pictures of yourself walking. Film yourself walking, okay? Because that's content too. 
and put it on your social media channel, baby. Encourage other people to get up. Encourage other ladies to get up and start moving their body. Tell your best friend, girl, come on, let's start walking. Tell your sister, girl, come on, let's start walking. You sitting here every night on their phone telling me about the man, telling me about all this stuff. Okay, we talk about it, but let's go talk about it on our walk. Let's go walk. <laughs> And the more y'all start walking and, and, the, and the healthier y'all get and the better y'all start feeling, the conversation going to change. You ain't even going to be talking about all that foolishness no more. Okay, I love y'all so much, baby. Y'all be blessed.